Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is video is going to be a full face of makeup revolution makeup. So I'm only going to use makeup revolution. I'm going to say makeup revolution so many times in this video. So be prepared for that. So if you want to see how this is going to look, then make sure to keep on watching. So I am a little bit in a rush. I'm going to try not to like talk like for 500 million hours about one product. So I'm just going to make this quick, easy, simple. So the only thing that I didn't buy from Makeup Revolution is a primer. Because if you've been on my channel before, you know that primers literally break me out like crazy. So I didn't want to go through that. So I am going to start straight with the foundation. I have moisturized my face, by the way. The foundation I'm using is the new Revolution Conceal and Hydrate foundation they already launched their first like conceal and foundation foundation which is a really good foundation but it's super super matte and they have launched now a new version which is more like a hydrating one i have already tried this in my video a few days ago and i absolutely love this foundation it is nine pounds and it is literally insane so i am gonna go in with color f7 which is weird because in the other one i am f5 i'm going to use my charlotte tilbury brush to blend that into the skin and look oh oh my god my mustache needs to be done just ignore my mustache please thank you very much you can just instantly see how it covers everything up it looks so nice on my skin i I'm obsessed with this foundation. Like, look how good. I used two pumps. But if you look at this coverage, it is literally insane. And I feel like it also, like, sits very nicely on my skin. It doesn't oxidize. Oxidize? I, I never know how to pronounce that word. It doesn't, like... It doesn't change color let's just say it like this so i have them i have them both here um so this is the first one they launched which is the conceal and define and then this is the second one um i prefer this one it's be mainly because i just have a pretty like dry comet skin so this one works great on me if you are more on the oily side i will probably recommend you to go in with the original one because it's more of a mattifying one then not only did they launch a new foundation they also launched a new hydrating concealer um again it's the same it's almost, it almost looks the same like the first concealer they launched but then it's more of a hydrating feel hydrating version which i oh did you hear that ASMR. three two one oh nice i obviously prefer the hydrating one especially under my eyes it's nice and hydrating so i am gonna go in uh, with this one and i'm going to apply that under my eyes and this is in the color i used way too much over there c1 so it's pretty much the lightest one but i just like how it brights up my under eye area so using my little spongy to blend that all out oh it's really light isn't it then they also launched this hydrating powder i really like this powder but the compact is really annoying because you can see that there's a lot of powder coming out of the little holes but then when you close it properly when you move it around then you open it up like there is literally powder on the on the sides everywhere and it literally goes everywhere so i love the powder because i've tried it before this is the revolution um, light pink loose setting powder which is water resistant and has no flashback i just hate the packaging because the packaging is super messy and like the powder goes everywhere so you don't really want to be carrying around in your bag or like moving it around a lot because the moment you can but when you open it be careful because a lot of powder is gonna like come out so i'm grabbing a little bit of the powder and i'm just going to use it to set it under my eyes So 
So remember how I said that I was gonna get a little bit of powder and then for some reason it turned out in baking. So I'm just gonna let this bake for like a few seconds. Um, and in the meantime, I am going to do my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I grabbed a Makeup Revolution eyebrow pencil. And I just wanna be clear that this eyebrow pencil was two pounds. Two pounds. Um, I got the Brow Revolution Duo Brow Definer um, and I got it in color dark brown. If this pencil is good, then that will be great. Come on, open them. I don't want to ruin my nails now. Please open without breaking my nails because I don't have time to get them done. There we are. Ooh. So, we got a spoolie on this side. We got the brow pencil on the other side. Pretty long as well, there's a lot in there. Um, and it almost looks like the goof proof from Benefit, like it has like the triangle shape. So what I'm doing first is just brushing my brows upwards because it makes it a lot easier to draw your brows on. Ooh, I'm just trying this on my hands and it literally just glides on, look at this. Okay, I'm really excited for this. So I'm going to start by outlining my brows. It literally glides on the skin, like seriously. It's a pretty warm undertone. I thought it was gonna be a bit more of a cool undertone, but it's definitely warm, but I, I do like the color. Ooh, I went in too much over there. So, between drawing it on, I like to also brush the product through the brows. It glides on, like it glides on super, super easy, but it almost glides on too easy because then when I start like brushing the product, like I'm not, I'm not brushing it out, but like I'm brushing it all together. So like it just looks more natural, but then I'm literally brushing the product away. So I think because it's so, so smooth, it just goes off easily as well. You know what I mean? But I guess for two pounds, you can't really complain like that. I really want to fix it with my Urban Decay brow blade because it's my favorite pencil in the world. But I'm not, I'm not going to do that because this is going to be a full face of revolution. So this is how my brows going to look like then. I must be able to save this. No, that's all right. I'm just going, I'm just going to fix it with some concealer, I think. So I'm grabbing a little bit of the revolution concealer again. And I'm just going to carve them out. I guess that looks a bit better. Yeah, they're alright. Not bad, not bad. I'm now going to do my other brow off camera. I will promise you that I will not touch my other brow pencils, um, but it's probably gonna take me a while to fix that other brow as well. I'll be back in a second with a second brow. So I have done my other brow off camera and I'm actually pretty happy how they both turned out. I'm just going to brush away this setting powder. I probably should not have to do the whole baking thing because it made my skin look pretty dry. Um, from far it looks fine, but then when I look in the mirror, like it looks a little bit dry on my under eye area and around my forehead. So the other time when I tried this foundation and this concealer, I didn't bake. I just used the powder to set it and it looked a lot better. So it did set everything nicely and place so maybe later on when i'm going with the setting spray it looks a little bit better then i also have this little under eye powder which is the revolution bake and blot in banana i'm not going to use a lot because it's already pretty dry on my under eye areas but i just want to see how the color looks like and if it like shows up on camera mm, you can definitely see it a bit 
now you can see how it brights up here so this will be really good on the eye brighter or like to contour with like i don't need any more powders right now on my face but i do i was just curious how bright this was going to be on my eyes because i know like the banana color is a really popular color in contour palettes so i think i will really like this powder because when i apply this you can definitely see how it like brights it up but i have i can't see it in full action yet because i really cannot apply any more powders on my face otherwise it will get way too dry so i'm gonna leave this one for next time next up is the blush and contour and highlight palette i always really like how their shadows look because i like how they've done it with like the lines and like it almost looks like blend stone herb texture so first things first i'm going to bronze up this face and i'm gonna go in with this bronzer applying it on a brush i think it's really pigmented because i can see a lot of bronzer on my brush so i'm making sure i'm tapping any excess off that looks really nice i really like that it's very warm toned definitely but it's super pigmented and I really like how this looks like under my cheekbones. It looks really nice, I think. So then for my blusher, I think I'm just gonna give like all of these a swirl and just see what happens. So I do like that, but I wouldn't say this is a blusher. I would say it's more of a highlighter because it's not giving me color. It is giving me like a nice glow. Definitely not like a blush color, um, but it's nice as a highlighter. I don't picked up any other blush products. So unfortunately this is like as far as it's gonna go today. So I think this one will be really nice as a highlighter then. Like look. That will be a really nice highlight. I'm just gonna give that little go here. Oh, God, I did not expect that at... Whoa. I am gonna be a glowing bowling ball today. Whoa. That is insane. Insane. I do need to blend that out a little bit because you can see. That's insane. Okay, I'm gonna keep that there and then I am actually gonna go in with the highlighter I originally got because I got this little highlighter from Revolution, which is the highlighter reloaded there to divulge highlighter. I have no idea what the word divulge means. I'm grabbing my little highlighter brush and I'm gonna go in. It has a golden peach on the tone. These, this was four pounds or like three pounds. I don't know what it was. I'm not sure which one I prefer. I think they're both the same. I don't know. But these highlighters are definitely very, very glowy. So then to finish my face, I am going to use a setting powder. To be honest, I did not pick up a setting powder from Revolution because the same prime story, like it gets really tricky on my skin. So I decided to use my own setting powder that I know it doesn't break me out and it works well. Um, first, I was just going to use no setting powder just to keep all Revolution. But now that I'm getting pretty dry, I do want to apply setting uh, spray yeah! just so everything melts in and it will look a lot better so i'm gonna go in with my urban decay all night spray which is my favorite this is the limited summer edition that's why it looks different but it's exactly the same but they added like a really nice summer smell to it and it smells so good and just instantly you can see how much better it looks already and how much it more looks like skin i'm just going to make sure that that setting spray is completely dry while your setting spray is drying make sure don't make any like facial expression expressions because you want to make sure it sets on a clear skin and then for the final touch to really get that skin looking skin i'm grabbing my beauty blender and i'm just dabbing in that excess um setting powder into my skin 
and allow everything to blend in nicely together. For eyeshadow, I'm using this Rachel Leary palette. I have met her once at a previous shoot and she's really lovely and her makeup always looks so beautiful. So I'm really excited to use her palette. I picked up the Goddess On The Go palette. So it's the one with, oh, I have a blusher because there's a blusher in there and that's perfect feels really nice it looks really nice it has this like really nice matte packaging and then inside we have a few eyeshadows we have a highlighter we have a blusher so we have a little bit of everything so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one eye of camera because i have no clue what i'm gonna do yet <laughs> and then i come back and i show you exactly what i've done with my eyes so this is the eye look that I went for. So the first thing I thought is that the pigment is in, in insane. So I'm really happy with that. I'm going to bring you closer and then you can see exactly how I got this eye look and how well the palette works. So the first color I used was Peach Please. And I just started by blending this one in the crease and you can see it's super super pigmented and the orange comes out really well then the second color i used was this more of a, like a darker brown orange which is fire and this one i'm just going to use it in the corner of my crease and i'm going to make everything a lot darker here in that corner then I went in with this almost like a purple color and it's called Red Velvet. And this is really going to dark everything up. And you see how beautiful they blend out. It's actually the first time I tried a Revolution palette and I did not expect it to be so pigmented. And even though the colors are really bright, I don't feel there is a lot of fallout at all. If you look at my under eye area, like there's no fallout under my eyes. I didn't have to clean anything up. Uh, my lashes is a bit loose here. Oh, I need to fix that. Then I went in with this tinier brush and I really got that purple in the corner over there. Then to cut my crease, I am using the same Revolution Concealer I use on my face, which is the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate in C1. Then for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with red velvet again, which is this purple one. And I'm going just to add that on my lower lash line. One of the only thing that is not Makeup Revolution is this pencil from Wet and Wild because I totally forgot to pick up a uh, pencil from Revolution. So these lashes are Prima lashes because I'm pretty sure that Makeup Revolution don't even do eyelashes. But I'm not sure if they do, then correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think they do. So I'm gonna go in with these lashes from Prima lashes and they are called um, number 14. So while my lash glue is drying, you can still see the glue there, but that will go in a second. So now I'm going to finish up my lips and I'm gonna go in with two colors from Revolution. This is in the color Glorified and then this is Head Turner. First I'm gonna go in with the darker one and then I'm gonna use the lighter one to create a little ombre effect. So the color I'm using first is the color Glorified. It's very orange, I did not expect this to be orange. Okay, I'm actually gonna go straight in with the other color because I don't like this color. So I've just added a little bit of the Carmex on my lips, which is just like a lip balm. Uh, you can use any other lip balm, but I just really like the feel of it and I just feel like it just feels a lot nicer on my lips. Other than that, I really like the lipsticks. I thought it was gonna be a lot drier than it is, but it actually feels really satin on the lips. It's a really nice and thin consistency. And I really like the color. I went for a head turn in the end because I didn't really like the first one. It was too orangey. But I really, 
really like this color. So that's it. This is the look. This is the full face of a Revolution makeup, except for my lashes and my eye pencil. Um, other than that, I have used only Revolutions, and there are a few things that I really liked. I love the concealer. I love the foundation. I'm really really impressed with eyeshadow a few things that i didn't really like which is the powder the powder was a little bit too drying for me and the brow pencil was a little bit too smooth for me other than that i really think this is you know nice makeup uh the price you pay i mean you you can't really go wrong if you have literally a full bag of makeup for 40 pounds and it looks like this so i'm really happy how it turned out I really enjoyed doing this. If you want to see more like full face of makeup, make sure to let me know because I want to do a few more. So if you have like a recommendation of what brands you want to see, make sure to let me know. But for now, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, make sure to give a really big thumbs up here down below because it will really help out my channel. And make sure to subscribe. Um, not only subscribe, but also click that little notification bell. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload. In the meantime, you can always go to my Instagram, which is Makeup by Sanchez, where I post daily makeup videos, Instagram stories, pictures, and you see a lot of me, of this face. But for now, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you very soon with my next video. Peace out. Stay down. Do, 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 do.